we're back. Yay. All right, so we're trundling on through the snow now? Yep, trundling, trundling, oh, yeah. trundling. We've also replaced um, Blando Calrissian with um, Tali. Yep. So we we, we still have um, we still have another Blando character though. Oh, Liara. We no longer have the vanilla party. Well, we decided that um, the breast ratio just wasn't right for the party, so we fixed that. Yep. Especially Kevin come. needs more boobs, Raga. Oh, then, then, then you you cannot wait for Mass Effect Two and Three, where the boobs get just booby. Boobular. Oh Jesus! Yeah, they just keep growing. <laughs> yeah. The eagles need to be bigger and better. This apparently applies also to the females' anatomy. A bigger is always better. At least in the female anatomy, anyway. Bigger is always better, or not always better? Not always. Yeah, no. Yeah, they could get freakish and horrifying after a while. Or you can, you know, get smothered if, you know, they pull you into their chest. And you can't... How short... How tall are your girlfriends? And they're, they're, they're pulling you into a hug at chest level. <laughs> Morath only dates Amazons, and you know that. Oh, fair enough. Current girlfriend is five feet tall. How <laughs> short are you? I don't seem to rem I don't re remember you being that short, man. Apparently, right. I can't shoot right. today. Well, you really can't. You are using a sniper rifle. Y'all using one of the crappy sniper rifles too. Yeah. Seem to remember being a better shot than this, though. Oh, you are, normally. I'm, I... Oh, for the love of... As my drunk... Okay, so there I'm we drunk. go! I haven't, been getting... I've been drinking as hard... I've been... I haven't been getting drunk when I've been drinking. Can... Is that going all the way over to you? Is that where that's going? It's... No, Morath, it's not going yeah, towards me. Just transferring. The, the, the drunkenness. Yeah, you might want to shoot those Apparently. out before... <laughs> Mako bullshit. Them, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto style. Uh, you have been playing Saints Row 4 a lot, but then to be fair, you just upgrade superpowers in Saints Row 4 and you don't even drive. Yeah. That's the thing. If you're driving in Saints Row 4 after about three missions in, then you're playing the game wrong. Or you're, you know, just doing it for no reason. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're doing like one of those like, occasional missions where you need to, uh, like, the side missions where you're stealing a car, but, I mean, the thing is, those are always the boringest missions because you're not flying. Well, I agree yeah. with you. I'm sure, um, I'm certain that there's someone out there who actually does want to, you know, do this, uh, you know, There's just a visceral feeling about running over people with a car. And there's also a visceral yeah, so really feeling about running them over with a tornado. There's that, too, yes. but, but yeah, also, I'll take the but, car. I mean, the, the, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll sometimes take the car, but also you know you know what you know what flying doesn't do. What? Right. Make you explode. Um, you can blow things up by running into them in Saints Row Four. Also, so normally I would count that as a good thing. You, to... you can cause cars to explode around you as you run through them in Saints Row Four. Yeah. Not to so mention yeah, throw fireballs, jump into the air, and smash down. Yeah. Uh, freeze everything. Run into someone so fast that when you punch them, your fist just goes straight through them. Yeah, it gets a little ridiculous, shall we say. Was the best game ever. Well, this is a little that's bit. what I thought of the third one. Yeah, the third one I liked, but honestly, after Saints of the Fourth, it's sort of like, man, I thought this game was just going to be a retread of three. I wish this was a retread of three. Not because I, I think this game is bad and 3 was better, but because I wish 3 was this freaking awesome. <laughs> what, what is that thing you're murdering? The what now? Oh, it's the... Um, the Colossus? The thing you're murdering. Yeah, the Colossus. Oh, I, yeah, I, I usually take those out in the Mako, but... You get so much more experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you kill outside the Mako, you get more experience. Besides, this is about half the reason I get a sniper rifle. So to be fair, this is probably one of those things that would be better left to a, you know, try-hard playthrough where we're not trying to get through the game quickly. Blah, blah, blah. I like shooting things with a sniper rifle. 
I will clunk frog on the head. Oh, you're supposed to be hitting it in the eye stalk. Doesn't really matter where you hit him. As shown. Back in the makeup. All right, there we go. I mean, technically, we just zoom, zoom. We could just go actually, fly through all the combat actually areas. I actually missed the Colossus as an enemy in this game. Really? Uh, yeah. It, 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 yeah. Uh, well, it's not that I like the Colossus particularly much. It's just I, I miss the Geth in general. Hmm. The game kind of, yeah, never really had enemies quite as good as the Geth. The Geth in the first game, I should point out, like the the physics engines, as much as the other games improved combat a lot. The physics engine in this game was way more enjoyable to fight people in, just because you could actually knock people over without it being a pre-scripted, now they fall over animation. Yeah. No. This is why biotics were so fun. Yeah. Or, you, or hitting game, people in the Mako with a wizards, uh, low grab world. Wizards. That's the thing, like, the moment biotics went from being crazy gravity wizards to just being normal wizards, you know, who do splash damage and, you know, DT DPS and stuff. The, cast magic missile. It yeah, did lose some of its character. Yeah. yeah. More functional, less fun. Well, less fun to... Different know, kind of fun. You, you also, because of the, the no longer the physics ending, you can no longer say, do that, or, you know, lose explosive rounds. Oh, Lord. Explosive rounds on a sniper rifle. With what, yeah. scram rails? Uh, yeah, scram rails, explosive rounds, oh my god. I mean, yeah, it Hi, like, I've got a rocket launcher. Yeah, yeah, it overheated your weapon like, 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 heck. But, um, oh my gosh, it, it just aim at the feet and people would go launch them. Yeah, whereas they give you a rocket launcher in, in uh, ME3 again, but all it does is cause everyone to pre-scripted fall over animation. Yeah. Yeah. I should note that there yeah. actually is a lesser physics engine in uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3 for dealing with biotics. Though you only yeah, really see to uh, you see it kick in when you've got uh, a singularity and pulls starting to go. Yeah. But the maps are, are also not as open. Like, the thing is, they, they kind of suffer from a bit of Call of Duty syndrome. Oh, uh, you mean uh, corridors? Where everything starts. Yeah, yeah. corridors... You know, everything is about cover. You're constantly just sort of, you know, plugging away with abilities that are largely just variations on World of Warcraft style, you know, damage over time, slash splash damage, slash insta-cast spells. You know, more functional, less interesting. Mm, that's a matter of opinion, eh? That, that really is a matter of opinion. Well, I do like the character of the biotics in this game, um, you know, I, there's something to be said for a tight gameplay, and, you know, oh, that's, it, that's what you see. Better. I'm not saying it's, you know, that like, the Mass Effect 2 and 3 are better combat engines, because they are. They're just way more homogenized and boring in terms of, uh, you know, design. Mm -hmm. Comparatively, you know, you get same, I guess. You get any, uh, any other shooter. The thing is, there's sort of a default third-person shooter style of, uh, you know, combat, and it's pretty much used whole cloth for the two sequels, which, again, Mass Effect 1's combat is kind of terrible, so that's probably not a bad thing. Oh, I'll tell but you what I do really miss, bad. though. I really do miss the, um, the way that, uh, in Mass Effect 1, cover isn't just, you know, sticky cover. You can actually use it worth a damn. You know, just by uh, yeah. going around and, you know, positioning it correctly. I do miss that. Hmm. And uh, we've just had a graphical okay. glitch of some sort. Oh, gosh, that's hilarious. Well, How ship... old is this game again? Wait, oh my god! Tali is blocky as hell, I love it. Welcome to uh, Mass Effect Minecraft Edition, apparently. What the hell just happened? Wow, I don't know, I don't care. Is... That is interesting okay. well, as hell. Okay. Well, give us a second, uh, technical difficulties, and we'll try and clear this up. No! Our graphics glitch, uh, a glitch has been fixed. No, oh, it hasn't. Oh, for the love of... Okay. I, 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 I think okay, it's... Okay, clearly it's says... playing with that room. 
clearly. Okay, let's see if going through it fixes things. Uh, no, right, maybe. We'll just re record it. Yeah, if it fixes it, then that's fine. If it doesn't, I think uh, this is silly. Anyway, um, we can't even go forward. No, it's um. It's well, folks, uh, I never knew about this glitch in Mass Effect before, but here you go. Now, for the congratulations, we found new game breaking button. New. Oh my God, that Krogan looks amazing. Well. We're gonna try anyway. You know? Oh, yep. wait, that was it. No, that was out. <laughs> well, you can actually see the hitboxes. Are those yeah. Are... Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are actually the hitboxes. Learn something new every day, huh? You know, yeah, if you ever want to know, like, where you could actually shoot the people, where it would actually do damage, this is this is them. These are. These are the little. Bo little uh, black boxes that represent our firing and little, you know, yeah, the big black boxes that represent where we can shoot people. Yep. This would be great to have in, like, a multiplayer shooter just to figure out exactly where hitboxes are on individual characters. You know what, that actually yeah, would make for a uh, pretty good training mechanic. Yeah. Then, yeah, you know, that actually, yeah, that wouldn't be terrible. You know, kind of like how uh, Super Smash Brothers has, like, the wireframe uh, trainer. Yeah, um, yeah. Mode where you can just see right from characters. This, yeah, that would actually work really well for a shooter. Virtual intelligence user interface. Also Something to think about. An idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Meantime. Do, 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 do. Let's see if the next room doesn't. If not, we should probably just re save and reload. Yeah. So I'm kind of curious. Yeah, we're gonna try and fix this again, folks. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. Well, folks, looks like uh, we're not fixing anything quite yet, so... <laughs> more hitboxes. So, yeah, what I was saying was, hopefully this just ends up being a problem where the, uh... Yeah, the uh, graphics aren't loading for the characters, and once we enter a new area and it reloads the character models, we'll be able to see them again. Hopefully. So, we'll see. Yeah, if not, you might be seeing retro-style Mass Effect for some time to come. I doubt it will last beyond the planet. Just because we tried uh, doing something where we went to the Mako, and when we left, it was fine again. It was just re-entering this base. But clearly, this base has something wrong with its code. Clearly. I love how Tolly's shotgun does not count. Yeah, you know, the only one of us that doesn't. Apparently. I love how they disintegrate. See these. <laughs> yes. See, See these there. amazing That's graphics. Eh, it's not that much of a downgrade. <laughs> oh, for Yeah, fuck's although sake. to be fair, it's interesting to look at the hitboxes. Yeah. And see how they're, they're actually fairly tight. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. It's, it's the cutscenes are <laughs> in hitbox form as well. Uh, that's what you get well, that's the hitbox for a Arachni there. <laughs> so, this is what you get when you uh, make all of your uh, cutscenes in game. In engine, yeah. Yeah. Origin just. Or Bioware just why? Either yeah, one. Bioware just why on this one. This is actually running off of a Steam instance. Yeah, well, Bioware just why? Xenobiology is not my field. Bioware in general is just why, dude. Seriously, you used to be cool. Used to be. Was once. You've played the Steam version before, right? Yeah. Like, you didn't have this problem in this location before? Never no, had this problem before. never had this problem in the location. I think the, uh, and you've gone through this location before, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is terrible. Terribly annoying, yes. There's gonna be a rock knight that pops up behind you. Yep. Take cover! Huh. Funny what Let's Plays, yeah, seem to pull out. Get up, Liara. In, uh, spoiler warning, where they continually have this thing where people will go through these games over and over again, and every time they decide to sit down and play a Let's Play, they always seem to run to glitches that they never had seen before. 
I feel a kinship at the moment. I really feel a kinship. Hey, at least we're not playing uh, Tomb Raider. I just got done watching the Let's Play of that, and the uh, that game has a problem on its PC port where occasionally the graphics and the cutscenes just die. Like, they just, like, start stretching everywhere. <laughs> and then the game crashes. Wait, wait, which one is this? Tomb Raider for the PC. Uh, no, the like blocks! It's like one line of code that's fucked up in the uh, graphics thing, but basically just screws up this uh, one thing about textures, which causes them to be applied to models incorrectly, which causes the entire screen to go completely insane. Let's talk about better Let's Plays. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. And let's plays you could be watching. Oh, this instead might fix it. Instead of Minecraft edition. Yes, instead of. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, know it, 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 I, I, point, I, already settled. I'm sorry, <laughs> but when it comes right down to it, what I'm watching right here with you know like the black blocky suit and everything, and uh, being inside a computer core. Oh my God, this reminds me of 2001: A Space Odyssey, even more so than normal. I mean. Yeah. Oh God, you're right. Yeah. This is really 2001-ish. Yeah. I can't actually, really the thing do was, that, Dave. Just, just hit the access there. Yeah. Hey, I'm always kind of seeing what I'm doing. Oh god, it's the fucking monkey test. Yes, yeah, the towers of Hanoi. But yeah, apes are able to do this relatively quickly. Uh, so, can we beat a monkey? Probably not. Yeah. I'm wondering who's the genius who thought this was all a great idea. Same one who goes ahead and puts all the puzzles in video games? I don't know. They really like their Where's random the puzzles. Like some, I mean, this isn't like Wild Arms where, you know, they just decide to put puzzles everywhere. This is just a random puzzle they decide to put in. I remember back when I was playing Mass Effect, you know, again and again, kind of hardcore. Like I had... <laughs> Crap, a pop up. <laughs> anyway, where what I was saying is, I uh, had gotten to the point where I could just close my eyes and do that particular Tower of Hanoi puzzle. Fair enough. God, I'm just like do these blocky textures and stuff, and like the the weird QB uh, heavily pixelated models. I really, every time you get into like a cutscene-ish thing, I keep on expecting it to just end up with like freeze frames, <laughs> with, you know, white text underneath the thing. <laughs> Well, we do have white text. <laughs> True. Oh god, you, you played Blood Dragon? Yes. <laughs> oh god, yes. That's awesome. Yes. Oh man. Ladies kick ass. Ass. Do you have an additional system? I think I have like a lisp or something, especially whenever I do let's plays for some reason, it's like it becomes super pronounced where I just can't hit goddamn S sounds. User alert. Main reactor shut down. Not paying attention. Eh, fair enough. Manual restart required. This is this is alien Grab to that. me, because I normally do the other way first. Hmm, fair enough. Well, at, at this moment I think that we should probably go ahead and uh Hold it here, and uh, maybe when we get back, they'll actually have fixed this. Well, we'll actually have fixed this anyway. So, uh, we'll see you next time, folks.